गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड वुड वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव रीड दिस चैप्टर चिल हेयर ओके चिल हेयर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर सो ऑल ऑफ यू टेक आउट योर बुक पेज नंबर थर्टी एट शुड आई काउंट टिल फाइव और टेन शुड आई डू काउंटिंग फॉर यू टिल फाइव और टेन ओके आई एम डूइंग वन टू थ्री फोर एंड लास्ट वन इज फाइव फाइव टेक इट आउट फास्ट नाउ वट इज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे फेदर्स वुड वी हैव लर्न यू स्टूडे बिग्स एंड अबाउट फीट एंड बिग्स एंड फीट ऑफ होम बर्ड्स वोट आर देयर इन एनिमल कैटेगरी वोट आर द एनिमल्स वो आर कमिंग इन द एनिमल कैटेगरी बर्ड्स insects isn't it so we are dealing with birds not animals so where what is uh, tell me the parts of birds it was feet beak and feathers so we have covered beak and feet and today we are going to cover the last part that is their feather so feather is of three types down feather body fat and flight feather oh oh my god it's funny anyway so have you seen the bird yes ma'am i have seen yesterday some of you have uh, commented that you have seen cro uh, crow pigeon isn't it eagle you may uh, you may must have seen so all the bo- birds have their body covered with feathers just like our body is covered with with skin just like this their body is covered with feathers and this make them different from the rest of the animals have you seen feathers on uh, lion lion deer no and due to this feathers the birds can fly okay birds can fly so and these are of three types that is down feather body feather and flight feather what is down feather these are fluffy feather how they are looks like look they are look, looks like like this you must have seen when crows flew uh, off from your what roof and you find there there were some feathers and if you will see you see sometimes like this feather you, you saw sometimes like this feather and sometimes this so this is a down feather this is a body feather and this is a flight feather okay now these are fluffy feather located close to the birds skin just like here here you will see that here very close to their body part okay these feathers are very soft and short they are just like tiny 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 down okay a nestling new bird has a lot of down feather okay nestling is new uh, new bond birds which used to live in nest only okay now move ahead these um, body feather these feathers are present over the down the over the down feathers what is this is the down feathers over that what the feathers is their body feather that means they cover the down feathers and they cover the whole body and give a shape of the shape to the birds of body okay and what gives shape to our body muscles give shape to our body and in birds body feather gives them shape to their body now the term is for flight feather with the help of they fly and uh, in the sky so these feathers are mostly present on the wing wings and this what are there this one this one this one okay this one one so these feathers are mostly present on the wings and the tail of the birds and the tail of the birds they help the bird to fly and change their direction this feather no tail helps them to change their direction in fish also their tail helps them to change the direction and in birds also their tail helps them to change the direction okay now how do birds fly but before that there is a true and false so let's have um, let's do this so few statements are given there and we have to find it out that these are correct or not so the first is a statement is the wood pecker bird has a strong pointed and chisel shaped beak have you remembered have you read the book last day 
tell me the correct answer what should, what should be the answer you can pause the video and you can write down in the comment section your answer okay if you are having any doubt you can also ask in the comment section okay i will get back to you very soon whenever i will see okay now and one thing more i want to say that not only maths or science if you want to see english literature and language it is also there on youtube you can go and search it out and you can see the video it will help you all okay now now uh, the question is the old picker bird has a strong pointed and chisel shaped beak is it true yes it is true now what do birds such as pelicans have broad and flat fix is it true flat Bigs, is it true? Belican is a water bird, so it has a big food, okay, like the but it has a broad and flat bigs. No, it is not correct because pelicans used to eat fish, and for eating fish, they need a sharp pointed look. This one, this is pelican, so they have broad, long, and sharp is big. And what is telling flat big so it is a wrong statement oh it's, it's okay the eagles and owl have sharp claws called talons yes it is correct because they have to they have what they, they have to do they have to catch rats and mice okay now Tom feathers are present over the body feathers right now we have learned it that body feathers present over the down feathers so that they can cover the down feathers so it is a false statement so answer should be like this true false true false now come to how do birds fly so for flying so what do they need they need feathers and they need wings the wings of the birds are attached to their body with the help of a strong muscle this one what is okay the wings of the birds are attached to their body with the help of strong muscles but use these muscles to move their wings but with the use of this they 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 just what they do they just move their wings and they can fly okay if the birds fly up in upward direction just like this they are called up stroke if the the movement of bird is with the wing with the help of wing means the downward movement the downward movement of wings means the if they want to move down towards the earth this is now known as down stroke stroke and in a sentence how we will frame in a sentence a bird flaps its wings upward and out okay it is telling only the upward movement of the wings the upward movement you can underline it the upward movement of wings is called up stroke and the downward movement of wings is called down stroke in sentence you can uh, frame uh, you can frame sentence like this what is up, up stroke and what is down stroke so while flying a uh, bird flaps its wings in two direction that is upward and it was downward towards this sky and towards the ground if they fly towards the sky that means they are using upward stroke and if, uh, if they are flying towards the ground that means they are using down down stroke so and a bird you you should underline this also a bird uses its tail to change the direction of the flight okay oh Uh, how to do how to do this okay wait okay okay now i have turned the page and there are few words who cannot fly so the birds that cannot fly are called flightless or running bird do you know the example of such kind of birds ostrich because its body is too heavy to fly okay and emus are also the example so <coughs> sorry excuse me now food habits of bird what do the birds eat they eat nuts grains fruits seeds and insects this depends uh, this depends upon their types of beaks and beaks depend the types of food they eat okay so birds eat different types of food 
दे ईट इंसेक्ट सीड्स नट्स ग्रेन एंड फ्रूट्स बर्ड्स सच एज ईगल एंड वल्चर्स इट्स फ्लेस और अदर एनिमल्स हमिंग बर्ड सक्स नेक्टर फ्रॉम द फ्लावर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर लॉन्ग बेक फिंगन्स पेलिकन्स एंड केन पिकल फिशस एड्स फिश बर्ड डू नॉट हैव दिथ वट आई हैव टोल्ड यूर डे इन द क्लास रूम They use their beaks to break and cross food into small pieces. Now, something about their residing is how do they live, where do they live, and they live in a nest form. Since childhood, you are studying about this that birds are living in a nest. Okay, and where do we live? We live in homes exactly. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Now. Birds build nests using leaves, straws, twigs, wool, cotton, and thread. Birds take care to build their nest in places safe from danger and bad weather. Okay, danger means where people cannot go out and where children cannot hurt their means destroy their nest. Okay, so they build their nest in a place safe from danger and in a tree. You have seen at the height of the tree. Okay, so we can see bird nests, nests on trees, on the terrace of building, and sometimes even on ceilings, fan. Birds lay eggs. Birds lay eggs in their nest. Okay, you can underline this. Birds lay eggs in their nest. Oh, okay. A tailor bird. Okay, a tailor bird uses its beak. Tailor why its name is tailor bird because it it uses its beaks to sew the leaves okay like a needle to sew the beaks together to build a nest it also uses materials such as threads and wool to sew the leaves okay they found uh, they don't purchase it actually <laughs> just like as we go to the market and we purchase wools and everything have you seen birds purchasing wool and thread like this ah huh? tell me. <laughs> No, they cannot because they are there are no shop like this for them, and they are not going to shop. But then, how do they they find their these things? How do they earn these stuffs? By collecting only. By collecting. You know, you must have seen the words sometimes coming on the roof of your roof or terrace of your building, and they are picking up some uh, leaves. Sometimes they are picking uh, picking up some uh, you know, what teeny teeny branches and uh, uh, like. Uh, what to say mm -hmm. small small things they are collecting isn't it so by collecting they arrange their means to build the nest and by collecting they they also arrange food for their kids okay so and tailor birds uses material such as threads and wool to sew the leaves and uh, that's why its name is tailor bird because she's it is sewing the leaves okay now wave of birds so because it uh, uses its beaks to wave pieces of leaves okay grass and twigs to build a nest the nest has an opening through which the birds enter you can see here there is a actually it waves the leaves like this uh, okay and now there is opening to enter in this now what about woodpecker it has a long sharp pointed beak so that it can cause it has chisel like beak no so it can tear the wood and it can make tear uh, tear the wood of the tree trunk means tree and it can make its nest inside the tree only so a yule picker uses its beak to pick into the into tree trunks and make a hole for a nest okay it uses this hole as a nest and lines it okay it with fine stripes of wood okay wood Penguins live in very cold places. Have you seen any penguins in Patna? No, you can't because it is not a very cold place. In our Antarctica, again, land such type of places where there is too much cold is there, so penguins can be found there. Okay, so penguins live in very cold places as it is difficult to find twigs, grass, or straw in such places. Penguins. What do then? What do this penguin do? They collect stones and pebbles and make their nest on the ground. Understood? Now come to the uh, sparrows, which is very common to us. Bulbul. Nowadays we cannot see any bulbuls. This species is about to finish. Okay.
Sparrows, bulbils, and hummingbirds make cup shaped nest, and uh, this is very common to us. We have seen this. Okay, we, we must, you must also have seen this. This type of yeah, we can see only in figures or diagrams, but uh, but most of you have must have seen this. So this is the most common type okay it is written also here this is the most common type of nest the curves of nest to take the eggs and the baby birds okay baby birds and keep them uh, keeps them from falling off okay means they help this uh, keep them safe from falling down okay now some special features about birds let's have a read but before that i would like to go to the fact file the hummingbird lays the smallest egg and one thing more i want to say the hummingbird is the smallest bird and the ostrich is the largest bird okay so the size of its is is same as the as that of a pea yeah. So, uh, some special features of birds okay so ostrich ostriches eagles and penguins are birds that cannot fly i already told you ostrich is the largest bird i told you already and it lays this so it is because it is the largest bird so it lays the largest egg a cuckoo doesn't build its nest, uh, nest it is very important point to tell you and it uses others birds uh, nest to lay their eggs and most probably uh, in most of the cases we have seen that cuckoos and quails what do they do uh, they keep their eggs in crow's nest okay so a cuckoo doesn't build a nest it lays eggs in the nest of other birds parrots can imitate a voice and talk like us okay pigeons can fly for long distances that's why they are using as a messenger in the uh means um in early days is okay so because of this huh because of this they were earlier used to carry letters and messages to far away places and then after post offices and this all means comes and later on slowly slowly this tradition comes to end but you uh, whenever you will uh, will be a grown-up child and when you will see some movies you will see that uh, when they were so some early days is now you will see that pigeons uh, they are giving some letters to the pigeons and the pigeons pigeons used to fly away used to flew for the large distances and then after they are giving what messages to the person who is concerned but there is a dress also <laughs> sometimes it gives letter to someone else also it, it's okay this is just a small talk but so let's come to the point and what is the point here so what we were learning that pigeons can fly for long distances you can underline this okay you can underline this line also it is also in your life you always use and use this ostrich is the largest bird you can write somewhere else humming is the smallest bird here you can write right uh, underline this and write over it smallest bird okay and so it lays the smallest egg and um, you can underline this line pieces can fly for long distances you need not to underline this because you already knew this and it is in your mind Okay, now, pigeons mostly stay near human's home, usually in nooks, okay, and usually in nooks and corner of roofs. Peacock is the national bird of India, you already knew that, and it has beautiful feathers. And you have seen, some of you are in habit of keeping its feather inside your book, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now, come to the next okay it is also given here hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world it can even fly backwards yes this is its quality many birds fly such as cranes long distances for food shelter and to escape unfavorable weather condition this is called migration and landless it is important okay many birds fly uh, long distances for food shelter and to escape unfavorable weather condition means some of the uh, there are few birds who used to live uh, for sometimes in some places and after sometimes they used to live on the other places for wood, for food, shelter and escape to escape from unfavorable condition. Oh. Owl cannot swivel their eyes. They can move their heads completely around to see straight behind them. Okay. They cannot turn around. 
this means turn around without moving other okay now so just like we can move our eyeball eyeball what is this a small black type you can see in your uh, just go in front of your mirror pause the video and go to the mirror you will see your eyes is like this okay let me draw if i can i can write with my left hand but i cannot draw just have it look oh it's been tough okay <laughs> okay this is eyeball okay this is eyeball so when you when you will see in front of it looks a little bit danger also <laughs> i want to rub it <laughs> yeah ma'am drawing is very nice but uh, like now as i'm trying with okay i should try like this maybe Maybe no 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 no. Oh yes. Oh. Okay. Now. I'll make this. Okay. So, this is their eyeball. Okay. So we can move it. but owl cannot so what so what do they do they actually owl can move their head whole okay completely around so the you to see straight behind them they move around their heads this is owl this is the figure of owl i think you are there in our uh, patna's museum i uh, mean sorry uh, what is the uh, ju 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 yes ju you can go to the ju and you can see that and now parental care in birds after the eggs are laid in the nest what they do one of the parents used to sit with them and to give heat to them and another one goes to bring the food and everything so after the eggs are laid in the nest one of the parent birds sit on it to keep it warm the chick grows inside and the egg hatches means it cracks down and after some days it comes out and in most part both parents look after their chicks chicks feed them and do and also protect them from danger danger means someone just like uh, we people what we are doing we are eating egg of <laughs> eggs of hen <laughs> so they are protecting their egg from uh, means uh, human beings also from wind also from storms also whatever the condition which can harm their egg they are protecting their their eggs from this condition so this is means they are they are protecting them from danger all this means are just like a danger for them so caring for birds and animal now like animal birds also needs to be looked after especially during the hot hot summer month so what do we do we can keep water in pot and keep it on the window sill we can we can keep some grains on the window sill so that birds can come come and feed uh, feed it okay now placing bird bars in an open place around the houses and gardens are one way of help, helping thirsty birds okay the bird bath do you know what is bird bath i hope you have must have read in class 2 what is bird bath they you uh, means so do you know what is this okay i would like to know the answer from your side in the comment section okay then after i will see and i will write the answer there only okay now it it is written over here only okay <laughs> it's okay placing bird bath in open places means a uh, small container containing water okay so bird baths are small shallow container containing water water birds drink water bath and cool themselves in this bird baths okay along with bird baths we should also place trays containing seeds to feed hungry birds such trays are called bird feeder okay feeders feeders okay now you should take care of your pets in the following ways feed your pet regularly okay you should clean just put a tick mark you have to do this if you are having pet you should clean and bath your pet keep their home clean do not be cruel to animals never hit them understood 
take them to veterinary doctor if they are sick. Now, these are the activities they are doing with the figure. Okay. Now, wrap up what we have learned in this exercise. Birds have wings and most birds can fly. Who cannot fly? Ostries, emus and penguins. Which? All birds have two feet and a beak. But do not have teeth. Okay. But use their feet and claws to catch and hold food. Okay. A bird's body and wings are covered with different types of feathers. And what are their feathers? They are of three types. They are down feathers, flight feathers and body feathers. Now, the wings are attached to the bird's body with the help of strong muscles. Okay. A bird uses its tail to change the direction of the flight. Now, then we have read most birds eat insects, seeds, nuts, grains and fruits. Now, Birds such as eagle and vulture eat place or of other animals. Birds build nests using leaves, straws, twigs, wool, cotton, and thread. Birds take bath. Sorry, birds take care to build their nest in places safe from dangers and bad weather. Ostrich is the largest bird, and hummingbird is the smallest bird. Ostrich lays the largest bird, and hummingbird lays the smallest bird. Okay. Parrot. Parrots can imitate a voice and talk like us. A tailored bird uses its beak like a needle to stitch leaves together using wool and thread to make its nails. Bird baths are small container containing water. Got the answer? We should take care of animals and be kind to them. What is next? Okay, exercises. So next day we will solve the exercises. If I will not able to write the exercise, I will ask you to do, do or I will make the video and I will tell and you will write. Okay. Okay. I, exercises we can do. Four portion and so I will face problem. But till then, just pray for me. I will be okay very soon. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Take care and read the chapter once again and whatever the words you find hard here, just like especially ostrich. No, not to ask because you all are having different different cap capabilities some some knows the spelling of pets but someone find the difficulty in writing parents uh, parrot some some can write the spelling of limited easily but some of you find difficulty so hard words depends upon you so find the hard words in which you are facing problem write down them five times okay so bye bye take care